here's a company, a homegrown company, uh, with people who started a project in a garage. And I would like to know what was going through their mind at the time, but here you had two young people who were determined, who were educated, and knew the direction in which they sought uh, to be headed in. And now they are a company that's really respected throughout the world. I've been with Brisonas for 19 years, uh, since 1995. When I came on board, I was employee number maybe four or five. Um, and we were located in a little antique store in downtown Baton Rouge. I mean, the sales department at that time was me, basically <laughs> one guy in sales, you know. And, and, and it was really interesting because in the morning, you know, you'd come in and you'd get on the phone and try to sell some gear, and then in the afternoon, I'd go downstairs and help sound test the gear, and then at the end of the day, we're all like together trying to box it all up and ship it up, you know, and so like, you know, it was this whole kind of sell it in the morning and ship it in the evening, you know. Yeah, over the 14 years, I've seen quite a few changes. Um, I like to joke, you know, uh, we would do a lot of work for one day. Uh, we would build product for 20 days out of the month on that 21st day, we would ship it off because it'd come in by the end of the month. But uh, yeah, it, it was a lot of changes. Uh, I remember we used to have uh, the first the launch of the fire pod or even the, the fire station. We would work uh, 16, 18 hour days just to get the product made and then shipped out on time. So yeah, it's, uh, it's come a long way since then. 14 years ago, we were a much smaller company with a lot less people. Uh, you had to wear a lot of hats because uh, just to get things done, you had to really be motivated and, and go forward and, and uh, do things yourself to make them happen. I can remember times where we took turns cleaning the bathrooms. Uh, I was the webmaster for a short period of time. I did graphic design and I even uh, wrote uh, installation uh, or installers for uh, some of our uh, hardware in the very beginning. So this is my third building at Personas after all of these years and, and I remember when we moved into our last building it felt like wow we have so much room it's so big and and now moving into this place of course it does feel like wow we have so much room but um, I will say just functionally uh, it feels so natural it feels like we've been here for years it's weird and we've only been here for you know a couple of weeks or whatever uh, so it, it already like from a workflow perspective feels super natural and um, you know, comfortable. My name is Scott Ritter. Uh, I am principal at Ritter Mayer Architects. We were the architect of record for this project. What's really interesting about this project is the the live sound room in the studio space within the, the building. So uh, if you're driving down Highland Road, you'd have no idea there's this state-of-the-art, you know, 6,000, 8,000 square foot recording space inside this building. Um, and that was particularly unique. We were, we teamed up with uh, Walter Storp Design Group and uh, used their knowledge and expertise within our you know frame of building to create this uh, uniquely designed space so uh, that was sort of the that was the big challenge of the project was was how do we make this the studio space come together. Dumont Construction was the general contractor for this project. We've been working on this project for almost 18 months from conception. Building a recording studio uh, uh, this is our first. You know, a lot of the building components are similar to other projects, but the way they're assembled makes it unique and different. And to be able to work with, with Walter Stork, John and Beth uh, Stork on this project with their guidance w was really fun. He is, of course, renowned. And uh, that was a lot of fun uh, to meet him and to work with him and to collaborate him on this project was, was enjoyable. My experience working with John Stork was pretty neat because, you know, once you found out who he was and what he's done, to be able to work with a guy like that was really special. And for him to give some of the comments that he did to, of what we were doing and how we did it was really nice. The new building is, is absolutely wonderful. It's a dream. The facilities with the studio and the live sound room and the nice marketing department and, you know, looking forward to seeing the video editing suites. It's, uh, it's fantastic. It's crazy. I mean, you know, to, to see what it's become, to, to work at a place that has a state-of-the-art recording facility right in the middle of the building and a, a live room that I can come and play drums in during my lunch breaks and, you know, get my chops up and stuff, it's amazing. 
I'll never forget some of the little desks and offices and places I used to sit in just to be able to conduct business. You know, I, I used to get in early in the morning and try to conduct all my phone calls before 9.30 or 10 o'clock because after that, the, the compressor would be running, the air machine would be running, the pick and place machine would be running, and you just, and you just couldn't hear. So it was, a, it was a much different world now to come in and be able to sit in a, in a room and have a nice, quiet workplace. The vibe of when you first walk in up to the building, walk into the front door, just that vast area of greeting space compared to what we had at the old building. It, that's just so welcoming. And then to have the beautiful lunchroom that we have now and the recording studio, this live room. Um, it's gonna be even super once the, the pond out back gets, gets finished and the landscaping gets done. It's gonna be such a release to be able to go out on that back deck and uh, have lunch and be able to look out over the pond and things like that. It's like a dream to work for a place like this as a musician and to be so connected to music every day and the, the musician and engineering community and everything, it means a lot for sure.